ice day though, like a crisp good day. It's not cold. No, it's not cold. Do you think it'll be cold by the end of this one? No. Nice, nice. All right, last night we played Bellarmine. Uh, didn't know a whole lot about them coming from Kentucky, coming from that cold weather. Didn't know if they're going to have any game experience. They played a pretty good game. They didn't make an error. No, they played real well. Their uh, starting pitcher on the mound was uh, really good. I mean, uh, you know, touched some 93s and uh, competed real well. And thought a uh, very, very solid baseball team. And, uh, you know, that's the one thing uh, that I guess we got to get used to. I mean, uh, people do tend to get up for us, and I think they, they come bring their A game. And, uh, you know, uh, that's something that makes us better. Uh, we got to be up to the challenge every time we step on the field. Absolutely. And, you know, sometimes a team will have that number one and then fall off, but they brought two other pitchers in and both had velocity and breaking stuff. What do you, do you, do you think that, that all the way down their staff are loaded like that? I hope not. <laughs> I mean, uh, I tell you what, and, and you and I were talking about it in the office this morning, just uh, every time out, we seemed to, we hadn't seen a bad guy yet, and uh, hopefully that guy's out there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're waiting, and if you're hearing us, Coach, save one for somebody else. <laughs> Throw us a cookie. Uh, now, Last night, we, we struck out a lot. Obviously, it, you know, you, you're guessing you're probably not going to see the same type of velocity with that 92, 93 stuff, but a lot of fastballs up in the zone got us. Um, do you set the pro batter up? What do you do to combat that strikeout, the strikeout numbers and lower them? Well, unfortunately, not enough time, you know, between playing last night and coming back again today to, to really go work on it, but, you know, just address it and hopefully uh, mentally we, we just get in the habit of swinging at strikes and that's something that's always been a strength of ours, and so it's been disappointing to see us do that. On the other hand, we face some really good pitchers, some guys that, with some good velocity, and that becomes more difficult uh, with those guys. And we've had some big zones at times, too. I think last night was one. Um, when you got a, a guy that's calling a lot of strikes, you better swing the bat, and sometimes I think uh, you expand the zone a little more than you'd like. Absolutely. Could, couldn't, couldn't be put any better. Now, tonight, uh, Brent Rutledge is on the mound. Last year, he worked real hard with off Tommy John. His last outing, he seemed to get it. You know, where the first couple outings were, you know, just getting his feel back. Started getting in the flow, mixed three pitches, even a wrinkle in a fourth. Uh, do you expect him to have that, that same type of outing tonight, or, you know, you just kind of flip a coin? Or what, what are you looking for to Brian? Well, I think he's got to go out and show he can repeat that uh, tonight. So we'll see that. And if he does, then that's a really good sign for us, uh, you know. And we're starting to get that pitching depth that, that we feel like we're capable of having. And so, uh, you know, it's a good uh, pitcher's night. You know, if you can throw strikes and command the strike zone, you got a pretty good shot of uh, probably having some success with the wind blowing in tonight. All great coaches kick sandwiches in a rainbow flare.